Hi, welcome to my network rack in my house. In the next couple videos, I'm gonna be uh, building this. And the first part of the project is I'm gonna make the rails on the side that the um, panels and the switches and the patch panels screw into. So I'm gonna be making those out of three quarter inch um, angle aluminum. And uh, the length of this is going to be an eight U, meaning that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units in here and instead of buying them I decided I would make them and I'm going to cut them to length and then drill all the holes and I'll talk about that in a minute how to do that. In the following video I'm going to be making this frame here and in the next video after that I'm going to be installing it and in the uh, fourth video I'm actually going to be making some of these units here which actually have certain different types of injectors instead of just using the PoE uh, switch. So I hope you enjoy uh, watching this and let's get going on making these rails. Before we start this, I just wanted to show you how the spacing of this works. Each unit, in other words, what I talked about earlier being an eight U is eight units. Each unit is an inch and three quarters. And the whole spacing is basically 5 8 7 inch, 5 8 7 inch, and then a half inch, and then you repeat that over and over. So when you're starting the end, you have to go a quarter inch to start, and then it's uh, the 5 8 5 8 half, 5 8 5 8 half, and so on until you get to the uh, number of units that you need. And you have a couple options. You can uh, thread this with a number 12 screw, which I don't really find those very common. So what I'm going to be doing is using a number 10 screw and the industry tends to use 32 threads per inch, so a 1032 screw. And be doing that when I make all these rails, and I'll also be taking my screws and powder coating them so that they look good when they're installed um, in the end. So let's uh, jump to it and uh, take this rail and start measuring it out. I'm going to be using the blue um, machinist die and uh, measuring it all out, scribing it so that I can get to work on. So using my layout indicator on the granite slab, I go through and mark it as you can see here with a couple snippets of that video. So you can see the lines on here. I think I'm gonna be using them, I'm gonna be drilling. Now I got it marked. So now I just gotta punch them all and drill them. I start off by using a 16th inch drill bit and then I change over to a 532nd, which is the correct size for a 1032 screw. Hey there, again we're gonna use gloves so you don't get your fingerprints on it. So it's very important to use acetone to clean everything off to make sure there's no oils left because that will impede the adhesion of the powder on it and make a mark when it's finished. Here I'm using a 24 inch gauge galvanized wire. I think it's called baling wire. And I use that to suspend the part so that I can then place it on the oven and hang it from a hook while it's cooking. The parts that have been cooking now, I can take them out. Let me see how nicely they look. It's uh, nice and shiny. It's coated on all sides, so I can take that off and these rails are finished. So I hope you liked watching episode one of my Ethernet home network rack. Um, join me for episodes two, three, and four coming up. So I would suggest to subscribe today and click some of these other videos to see um, what they're all about. So anyway, I'll see you next time on Wassel Woodworking.